It is one of the hottest sports right now in the U.S. Millions of people watch the UFC and boxing fights every weekend across the country. In fact, it's a sport that brings in millions of dollars locally. Here with us this morning, Dave Oblis, uh, one of the most successful fight promoters here in Atlanta. Dave, good to have you here. I'll ask you, you know, straight and narrow right here, why do you not support the Secretary of State's decision to appoint Kelly Farr as Secretary of the Athletic Commission? It's not completely that I don't support him. I take orders from the Athletic Commission. They don't support him. I do what they ask. They're technically my boss. They're technically the commission that sanctions the fights that I put on. What they say goes. They don't approve of him. We need someone else. But he is the one that would actually be coming out as a secretary should be to make sure that your fight card, the guys who are fighting on your card, are matched up correctly because in all essence a fight promoter may not care about necessarily uh, the safety of who's going up maybe he just says us oh, is a great name and this will be a, a great a great fight for the fans secretary is supposed to come in and monitor what fight promoters are doing no they're supposed to and I've been doing this 10 years we've had several secretaries of the commission in those 10 years they've all been to every fight that I've ever promoted we've never had serious injuries I will say since Kelly Farr was appointed a month or so ago I think there's been five fights in the state he's only been to one of those five that was our event what would you then like to see from a secretary? Someone that has knowledge of the sport, someone that can help me promote the sport, someone that wants to see the sport of mixed martial arts and boxing get better and get more popular. Um, I know since Kelly's taken office, he's canceled a couple fights. Um, he didn't allow late weigh-ins, which should happen, that should be allowed to happen. Um, we Are those things that just because you, you, we're talking about a technicality of a, of a late weigh-in, is that something that you say should be able to happen, but maybe he doesn't have the knowledge of the sport, and you're saying that that's why he's maybe making that decision? Correct. I've had plenty of guys that weigh in. Everyone's supposed to weigh in Friday night for a Saturday night fight. Plenty of guys can't make it. Their plan's delayed. Their car breaks down. If both opponents want to weigh in Saturday morning, the day of the fight, the law absolutely says they can weigh in at least seven hours before the event. He's canceled fights for that reason. That's looking for a way out of the fight. I pay people to punch each other in the face. A lot of people pay money to see th that happen. When you're canceling fights that should go on, that's not a good way to promote the sport. All right, as of about a month ago, you guys, all your fights had been put on hold because there was really no secretary. The Georgia Athletic Commission says they have now kind of found a way around it with the ABC coming in and matching card for card and making sure everything is legit. How much money have you, were you risking to lose coming up in 2013 as a fight promoter? Um, well, it's not only my income, it's the income that I have, it's the income of the venues I work with, that bartenders, you know, every time we do a fight, even Hooters says it's the busiest night of the year for them. Um, all the drunk people going to Steak and Shake, they get packed after the fights. So it's not only my income, it's the income of the fighters. I mean, it's hundreds of thousands of dollars every couple of events we do. It's big money here in Georgia. Do you think that Kelly Farr is against fighting? I don't think he's against I'm trying fighting. to kind of understand why there would be so many people against Kelly Farr if, if there is a Georgia Athletic Commission made up of five commissioners who are still somewhat overseeing this sport. Kelly Farr was in the position about four or five years ago. He was hard to deal with. He canceled fights. He canceled weigh-ins. He didn't show us that he wanted the sport to continue in a positive way. Since he's been in office in the last month, we've seen more of the same. Um, we've had a couple commissioners that are easy as pie to work with. He's not the person for the position. He's uh, one of the eight deputy secretary of states. Maybe he's extremely good at that job. He's not very good at this job. You, uh, an outsider would sit there and say, okay, well, if the Georgia Athletic Commission gave a list of five guys to the secretary of state and say, here, Mr. Kemp, here's a list of five guys. This is who we all support. You can choose from either one of them. Why do you think the Secretary of State went to one of his own deputy secretaries and it appointed him to this role? That's the million dollar question. I don't know if it's a budget problem. I don't know if it's a contest between him and the governor. I don't know. The Athletic Commission gave five or eight resumes of people that they wanted. They said the one person that they won't allow to do this job is Kelly Farr. Brian Kemp went back a week later and appointed Kelly Farr the one person they said no to. I don't understand that. I've heard it's a budget issue. I'm not believing it's a budget issue. My four-year-old nephew understood it. I told him to give me 50 cents, I'd give him a dollar seventy back. He understood it. This athletic commission pays about 50 grand to its secretary. Every year for the last four years, they profited over 150 grand. That's simple math. All right, and just to make things clear, I've seen you promoting fights for 2013. 
our fight's going to be happening as scheduled next year. Absolutely. We've got one January 19th at Wild Bills, and we're going to do one every six weeks thereafter. All right, very good. Dave Oblis here with us this morning. Dave, thank you very much. Good luck to you. And at Wild Bills, all the fights there as well. Coming up next, uh, fighting is a pro sport. It's how people put food on the table. We're going to sit down with two pro fighters and how this could impact their lives if fighting were not to happen next year. That's story when we come back.